In this video, we'll show you how to change the grips on a motorcycle or ATV. Whether your grips are worn out, torn, out of style, or you just want a different set, changing the grips is a simple task and it's something that any rider should know how to do. We're only going to need a few items to complete this job, such as a screwdriver, some contact cleaner, a few rags along with grip glue, and a new set of grips. And some grip sets will include glue with the grips, so you'll want to keep that in mind while you're shopping for your new grips. We'll also be demonstrating how to safety wire your new grips for a little extra security, and Rocky Mountain offers a few different choices of safety wire and safety wire pliers. So to begin, we'll start by removing the grips, and this can be done a few different ways. We chose to use a screwdriver and some contact cleaner, and you'll just work the screwdriver underneath the grip and then spray in a little contact cleaner. We're just trying to break that connection between the grip and the bar or throttle tube. So we'll continue working our way towards the end of the grip and it's going to take a few times of doing this to loosen it up. You can also use compressed air to help with removing the grips or you can just cut them off with a razor blade as another method. And once you start to reach the end of the bar, you kind of want to start to twist the grip back and forth and you should be able to just slide it right off the throttle tube. And then we can move over and do the same thing for the other side. So we'll go ahead and work the screwdriver down into the grip and spray in a little contact cleaner. And then we'll continue to repeat these steps until we can slide the grip right off the bar. And the next steps to clean any old glue or residue off the bars. We're using contact cleaner and a rag to do this, so we'll wipe off the left side first and move over and clean the throttle tube. It's important that these parts get cleaned really well so the new grips can easily be installed and adhere to the bars correctly. If you've installed a new set of bars and plan on running wraparound hand guards, now's a good time to check for any plugs in the bar ends and remove those before the new grips are installed. Some bars will come with them and some won't. So now we're ready to install our new set of grips, and we chose a set of Tusk Dual Compound Motorcycle Grips for this bike. When we open them up, you can see that one grip's inner diameter is different from the other. So obviously this grip is for your clutch side, and this grip is for your throttle side, because it has to slide over the throttle tube. And that's the difference between motorcycle and ATV grips. These are not ATV grips unless your ATV has a twist throttle. The other difference is ATV grips do not come with the shoulder on the inside as well. So if you're installing grips onto a twist throttle, it's a good idea to loosen the throttle housing and slide the throttle off the bar a little bit, so the end of the throttle tube is away from the bar end. Doing this will prevent any glue from getting in there and accidentally gluing the throttle tube to the handlebar. So now we'll go ahead and tighten that housing back up because we're going to be putting a little pressure on it. And now we're ready for some grip glue, and we like to just be generous with this stuff, so we'll basically cover the throttle tube with glue. Notice we've got the bars turned all the way to the right, so the glue doesn't run up towards the throttle housing. And once you get that covered, we're also going to put a good bead of glue around the inside edge of the grip. So we'll go all the way around, and now we're ready to slide on the grip. When you do this, it's important that you already have the grip positioned where it needs to be. You don't want to be twisting the grip while you slide it on. It's best to just go on straight. And another tip is it can sometimes help to poke a small hole in the end of the grip to allow the air inside to escape. Once you've got it on all the way, take a rag and wipe off any extra glue that came out. And then we can move over and install the other side. So we'll go ahead and put plenty of glue on that bar end go all the way around the bar. Once you've done that, we're also going to put that bead of glue on the inner edge of the grip. Go all the way around. Once you've done that, go ahead and slide the grip onto the bar. We'll just go straight on. We don't want to turn it at all. Make sure it's sitting in the correct position. And once it's on, go grab your rag and wipe off any extra glue. And now we've got both grips installed, we can move on to safety wiring them down. To do that, we'll just cut six even pieces of wire, and these just need to be long enough to fit around the grip. After you've done that, we can go ahead and install the first one. And we're going to start with that very inside of the grip. So just go ahead and wrap it around the grip once, 
and then we'll clamp the two ends in the safety wire pliers. And once you've done that, with the wire sitting where you want it, we'll go ahead and pull on the end of the safety wire pliers. Doing that's going to spin the wire into a perfect tie. It's also going to start to tighten up around the grip. This is where you want to be careful because if you get it too tight, the wire is either going to break or you'll start cutting into the grip itself. If the wire is too loose, it's not going to do anything to help hold the grip. So once you have it tightened down enough, go ahead and release the pliers and then we'll move on to the next one. Just do the same thing. We usually like to do three ties on each grip and just kind of spread them out. So we'll do this one in the middle of the grip. Just use the same steps. Clamp the wire with the pliers and then go ahead and spin it down. And once it starts to clamp down around the grip, we can release those pliers and move on to the last one. And for this one, you may not want to put it on the very end of the grip because a lot of times the very end of the grip isn't sitting all the way on the throttle tube or handlebar. So we'll just move in a little bit to install this one. Now I've got all three ties in place, we'll go ahead and cut the excess wire off, leaving no more than a quarter inch on each of them. To hide these wire ends and keep them from catching on your gloves, we'll take our pliers and basically just embed the wire up into the grip. Go ahead and do that for all three wires. Then it should look something like this when you're finished. Now we can go over to the other side and repeat those same steps for this other grip. After that, we're done with the grip install. If you have any questions about installing grips onto your machine, feel free to give us a call at 1-800-336-5437. Rocky Mountain ATV MC carries a huge variety of grips in almost any color, style, or compound to suit your specific needs. Be sure and visit our website, www.rockymountainatvmc.com to view all the available options we have for your machine. Thanks for watching.